Remember to follow safety protocols, eye protection, ear protection, and protective clothing. Remember to chalk the tires if you are going to engage the air system. The Inspector 920 will only operate one circuit at a time to perform a circuit diagnosis. The brake and auxiliary lights will stay on once you activate them, but the running lights like turn signals, tail, and marker will blink several times before locking on. The full function remote allows the operator to apply the circuits at will. Applying a new circuit will cancel the previous circuit. As you apply each circuit, check the lamps for proper operation. You'll notice that you can verify that your wiring system is wired correctly. The tester itself will display circuit conditions such as voltage, current, and operation. The tester will sound an alarm with four distinct fault condition alarms, open, short, open ground, and chassis ground. The alarm will automatically quit whenever the fault is corrected. This will help you diagnose where in a line the fault has occurred. For example, say you have a brake line with a short. As you move up the line, you can agitate it until the alarm stops. That will help you identify where your short is. There may be several faults, but ground faults take priority. At the rear left corner of the trailer, you can perform the preliminary 123 ABS operation. Step 1. Apply the brake circuit. Check, does the ECU activate? Does the ABS warning lamp turn on and off? Now turn off the brake circuit and apply the auxiliary circuit. Check again, does the ECU activate? Does the ABS warning lamp turn on and off? You may also hear a clicking sound from the ABS ECU from underneath the trailer. This can also help in diagnosing whether the ECU turned on or not. Any brake or auxiliary circuit issues have to be corrected before proceeding with the tester's ABS diagnostic mode.